I'm Ted Phillips, Application Engineer here at BNB SmartWorks. Today I'm going to show you our new Wizard HVAC Starter Kit. I'm going to show you how easy it is to install and monitor your HVAC system. So this is what comes with your Wizard HVAC Starter Kit. We start out with the uh, Wizard node itself the antenna, the cable harness, and then your sensors, the two thermocouples, and your two AC current clamps that'll measure your current for your fan and your compressor. We also come with the uh, wizard gateway, the power supply, the antenna, bracket, and your ethernet cable. Let's see how easy it is to install on your typical air conditioner or furnace. First, we'll mount the unit to the side of the unit with its built-in magnets. We'll take our temperature sensors and we'll take one and we'll put it in the incoming airflow. We'll take the other, we'll put it in the outgoing airflow. This one will feed through a hole in the side of the unit, bring it into the incoming air plenum, bend the unit so that the thermocouple is directly in the airflow. Next, we're going to take our current clamp and clamp that on the uh, white lead going from the fan so we can measure the current that the fan is drawing. Okay, now that we've got the node set up on the uh, piece of machinery we want to monitor, we want to set up the gateway. So the first thing we do is take this SmartSwarm 341 startup guide and we go and we connect the unit up according to the guide. We want to make sure that we connect up to power, connect up to Ethernet 0 to your laptop, connect up Ethernet 1 to your internet connection, and then we want to go on our SmartWorks Hub website and set that up. So we want to do our remote configuration through SmartWorks Hub. Um, we want to go to hub.bb-smartworks.com. Uh, you can sign up for an account on there. You don't have to contact us. Once you sign up for the account, then you'll be able to uh, connect directly to our unit. And uh, if you're looking into the uh, HVAC manual that came with your uh, startup kit, it tells you how to go on Hub and how to uh, find your device and hook it up and uh, download the Node-RED software. So once you get the NIDWIT software all downloaded and everything is running, now you want to open up your browser and you want to go to the IP address of your gateway and then we want to go to port 1880 and then we want to go slash UI. This will connect into the dashboard that is associated with your router and now you can see the information from your node. This is your ID from your node, this is a serial number, the software, the battery installation date, hardware version, all that. And on this page you can also set up different alarms so that if your temperature goes too high or too low or your compressor current goes too high or too low you can get uh, your alerts and your alarms on your emails or your SMS. We can also click on the network health. We can see that the ambient temperature on our node is okay. We can see that we've got a reliable mesh. Our battery voltage is good and our mesh is good. Then if we click on dashboard, we can actually see the, the information from the node. We can see that the temperature coming into our unit is 74.84. Uh, right now it doesn't appear that our uh, machine is running so the outlet temperature uh, okay, we've, we've got a higher temperature coming in than going out, so we can monitor that. We can see our history on the graph. We can see how much current our compressor is drawing. Right now it's off, and then we can see that our fan is on and how much current the fan is drawing. So this is the dashboard that comes with the uh, HVAC starter kit, and as you can see, it's, it's already configured in. Fairly simple to start you out and get some reasonable results.